we have the stories of a family that lived here for almost 100 years. Uh, the Bonhams bought the house in 1875, and we inherited it as part of Ms. Bonham's bequest in 1965. So we literally had almost a century of history and life in York, in York County to tell the story of. Uh, the house uh, is a very old structure, uh, actually, and its, its current form uh, is from the, the mid-1800s to the late 1800s, but on this property, as early as the 1840s, uh, there was a structure here. So over the years, there has been lots of alterations. One unique aspect of the house is the fact that you can see uh, all different time periods in terms of structure and styles on display. On the first floor, um, closest to the door, as you come into the house, on the uh, left-hand side is the parlor and the music room that um, comes off of that part of a two-story improvement that Horace Bonham made back in 1888. It's the music room that the girls uh, took their music lessons in and practiced their music. Uh, it's off of the parlor and uh, it was built part of the renovation in the 1880s. Um, the girls were taught to play the piano and to sing. There is a music stand and chair set up for them to practice their singing skills and a Steinway piano for them to practice their piano skills. Uh, furnishings that a family would have would be closest to the door, so it would be as soon as you enter the house. Both the hallway and the vestibule and the parlor show some of the finest uh, family objects that the Bonhams had. So one of the unique features on the second floor of the Bonham house is a bathroom uh, located in close proximity to the master bedroom. Uh, of course, over the, uh, the years from the late 1800s through the 1900s, lots of technology improvements uh, occurred in the home, one being indoor plumbing. So it's a unique room in that it, it's a mixture of styles and building materials uh, from a 1930s claw foot tub uh, to 1950s tiling, to 1960s wall decoration and cabinets uh, from all different time periods throughout the, uh, the mid to uh, late 1900s. Well, across from the bathroom, as Dan mentioned, is the master bedroom. Um, the master bedroom is a classic Victorian style. It's very busy, it's very active, there's a lot of carving on the wood, the mirrors are very ornate, uh, there's lace curtains that extend all the way down to the floor. Um, it is uh, a very typically Victorian. You have macrame on the um, mantel, uh, very busy candelabras with a lot of design to them. The frames that the photographs are in are very ornate, gold gilded, uh, a hallmark of the Victorian times. The only thing I'll say about this is when I give tours, you're only seeing a fraction of the amount of furniture that's in here. If I put all the furniture in here that would be in a Victorian, we wouldn't be able to move. There's lots of family secrets. Um, I think uh, Miss Bonham, who we inherited the house from, it's interesting her independence. She never married. Her two, older, her two younger sisters married. But Miss Bonham never married. But she did uh, do a round the world tour twice in her life. Uh, she was very independent and uh, lived alone in this house with the help, with help, good help that she had. But um, she was pretty much an independent lady. She was a little ahead of her time.